Hello, dear students. Let's start quick solutions. All India Cast Test Series, Medical 2020 for the RM batches and Test 04 and code is E and F. Okay. Physics and test date is 21st of the March 2021. Let's start with the questions. See the first question read that the temperature of the gas at pressure 2 atmospheric and volume 2 liter is 127 degrees Celsius. Keeping its volume constant, if its temperature is raised to 927 degrees Celsius, then its new pressure. Now, dear student, volume is kept constant and we have to go to the Kelvin scale. And therefore, the temperature first one is equal to 127. So, 127 plus 273. So, that is equal to 400 Kelvin. And what is the final temperature T2? The final temperature is 927 plus 273. And that is 1200 Kelvin. Now, you know the gas equation that PV is equal to NRT, the number of moles, R and T, the temperature. Now, in this case, the volume is kept constant. Therefore, P1 by P2 will be equal to T1 by T2. Now, P1 is given to atmospheric. P2 you have to calculate. And the temperature T1 was 400 Kelvin and new temperature is 1200. Therefore, your P2 is equal to 2 into 3, 6 atmospheric. So, answer to first question is the first option. So answer is 1 to this question. Let's move to the next problem. The second question says that consider the following two statements. The first statement is if the gas container in motion is suddenly stopped, the temperature of the gas rises. And the second statement is a gas can be liquefied at any temperature by increase of pressure alone. I to search out the correct statement. A dear student, when the whole cylinder is moving, then its center of mass is moving then kinetic energy of the center of mass will get converted to the entire energy resulting in rise in temperature. Therefore, the first statement is correct statement. And what was the second? A gas can be liquidified at any temperature. That's not true. There is a limit beyond which the gas cannot be liquefied. So, you have to find out the Tc, the temperature. So, this statement is the wrong statement. So, answer to this question is A only. So, answer is 1. The question number three is a gas mixture consisting of two moles of oxygen and four moles of argon at amplitude T, neglecting all vibrational modes, the total internal energy of the system. Now see, the internal energy is equal to F by 2 RT multiplied by the number of moles. Now let's calculate total energy, which is equal to sum of the first energy plus the second energy. The first is 2 moles and it is diatomic, so 5 by 2 into RT and it contains 4 mole of monatomic, this argon is monatomic, so 4 and the degree of freedom is 3 into RT. So, this becomes 5 RT plus 6 RT and that total value is equal to 11 RT. So, the correct option is option number 4. Let's move to the next problem. The question number 4 says that RMS speed of the molecule of hydrogen at 27 degree centigrade is V. Then the temperature at which the RMS speed of the hydrogen molecule will be 2V. Now, dear student, that RMS speed V is equal to 3RT divided by M. That is the formula with root. So, that means V is proportional to root of T. So the same gas is used. Now, in the first case, the temperature is 27 degree centigrade and V is proportional to 273 plus 27 root and in the second case, the velocity is V2 is proportional to, we have to find the new temperature. Let us take on the Kelvin scale, the temperature is T. So, if you divide the equation, then 2V divided by V is equal to root of T divided by this become root of 300. So, squaring on both sides, so 4 is equal to T divided by 300, therefore T is equal to 1200 Kelvin and your answer is the third option. So, answer is 3 to this question. 
Let us move to the next problem. The graph between the mean free path and the radius of the molecule for the given number density. Now, dear student, mean free path is equal to 1 upon root 2 pi n into d square, where d is the, the diameter. Now, if the density is kept constant, if the density is kept constant, then n is the number density. This is inversely to d square or inversely to r square. Now, so I write that this lambda is equal to some k divided by r square. So graph between lambda and r would be lambda on this side and r on this side will be the graph will be like this one which resemble the hyperbola. So answer to this question is option number 2.